the term accommodation can often seem kind of um, sterile, perhaps, when you come at it from kind of a regulatory perspective, when we talk about reasonable accommodations as it pertains to the law. And, um, but when you think about it, the word accommodate is really almost synonymous with, with welcoming. And it has that, that aspect of inclusion and um, just kind of naturally built into it. And so I think that many folks here in New Mexico have that very welcoming, open sense about them, have that accommodating sense that, okay, you're part of the family, <laughs> literally or figuratively <laughs> in the case. And in federal government, there is a culture of family as well that once you're in, you're in. <laughs> and it's amazing. It's an amazing place to work because the people are awesome. Um, they're really understanding and they're flexible. And it's more, it is, it's a family environment here. And, you know, we're really considered to be equal. They welcomed me like any other employee would. I mean, we all, you know, we always have welcome lunches and they take you around, usually get assigned somebody that takes you around to meet everybody and stuff like that. So, I mean, I didn't feel out of place at all. I felt right at home when I first got there. So, I was very, very nervous the first couple of months I worked here and um, always kind of worried about fitting in and, you know, because using a walker, you're kind of, people kind of notice you. <laughs> And it, you know, so you're just, just trying to fit in and things and hoping I don't fall on my face somewhere and, which I did. And they went and got some of the guys and the one guy from the contact center came in, looked at me, goes, you need help? I'm like, yeah. And he just pit lifted me up, you know, and they were all like, wow, my supervisor had been off the day that happened and came back and he was asking, he goes, well, what do we do about this? And I'm like, we have him on speed dial? Everyone's been really accommodating and I'm expected to d deliver qu quality work. I have Asperger's disorder, so I've, like some of the accommodations I've needed are to have cl clear direct communication, like if people, want people to assume they understand what, what the directions are f for a certain project, like that I need to have like the, exactly what it is or have it in, give it to me in writing or, or sometimes I might misinterpret something that they're saying because I don't um, r always read um, by language or, or innuendo very well uh, or sarcasm. And also they, I've had some, that really hasn't been much of a problem here, but what combination I have need to use sometimes is having another space where I can go if I need to when it gets too noisy because I'm really distracted easily but by sounds and sometimes all of this gets a little bit noisy. And I had to be assertive and approach other people and explain, basically educate who I am, explaining to them about cultural norms like tapping us on the shoulder and writing back and forth to communicate. So if I can make that person comfortable by talking with them and, and, and not being afraid or timid of talking to me, you know, um, uh, then, then I'm accepted basically. So I took it upon myself to meet all these hearing people around me to help them feel more comfortable with me. I've been out in the field many times and I uh, asked to go out in the field because I don't want to let the chair hold me back. Pretty soon people stop seeing you as a person in a wheelchair and you're just another person and I think that has a positive effect where they can look at other people in wheelchairs as not disabled but just as another person.